Alright guys, so in Dragon Ball Super Manga Shooter number 65, right after Moro got the powers of Miros, Moro could not handle the immense amounts of power and with that, he fell apart on the ground. And at the moment, we said to Goku to end Moro's life right there. It was a direct command from Whis to Goku to do it, to take Moro's life. And so when Moro completely fused with Earth, Whis looked very upset and he said, so it's come to this. So guys, now let's go back just a little bit. So Moro's body absorbed 7-3. It was not prepared to handle the power of an angel, Miros. And Moro's body just pretty much broken down inside because of this immense angelic power. And as damage and broken down Moro was on the ground, he needed a body. And Moro said, body. I require a body that can endure this power. And Moro said this because he knows that his current body cannot handle this pressure from this angelic power. It was just way too much. And guys, right at that moment, Moro's eyes were open right towards the ground of Earth. And he got the idea. And right at that moment, Whis was very concerned. And suddenly, Whis yelled out, Goku. And with a very serious face, Whis says, If you intend to defeat Moro, kill him this instant. Backing him into a corner past this point is unwise. And Goku was hovering over Moro and with a very concerned face, he was listening to Whis. And then he agreed with Whis and he said, okay. And as Moro was lying on the ground, face down, Goku touched down on the ground. After that, Goku put his hand forward and he said, say goodbye Moro. And at that moment guys, Moro was going down to earth. He was merging his body into earth. He was fusing with earth. And Goku while being shocked, he was feeling something. And as Moro was merging into the ground more and more, Goku said, what are you up to now? And then the ground started shaking violently. And with that, a head of Moro appeared right behind Goku. And now Moro was fully merged with Earth. He was fully fused with Earth. He became one with the entire planet. Before Moro's body could not handle the immense power of Miros. But guys, now Earth, it can. It can handle the power of an angel. And with that, Moro was once again ahead of everyone. And so with that, Goku was shocked out of his mind from what he was seeing. And so when Moro was struggling on the ground, Whis knew that something was about to happen. Whis knew the danger that was coming. And guys, Beerus as well. Even though Beerus stayed silent, he knew that something bad was about to happen. Because Whis and Beerus have this power where they can feel someone's destructive energy and thoughts. And this was proven in the Zamasu and the Goku Black Arc. And it took place right before Zamasu was about to end Goasu's life. And guys, right at that moment, Beerus and Whis felt a murderous intention and aura coming out of Zamasu. They knew that Zamasu was about to take Goasu's life. And we said that as a god of destruction, Beerus has a specialty in this. And Whis himself does as well. So guys, Whis and Beerus right here, they were able to feel the murderous and destructive intentions coming from Moro. And so now as Moro became one with the planet Earth, he was face to face with Master Ultra Instinct Goku. And Goku was scared and he had a shock on his face. And Goku said, you, but how? And as everyone was shocked out of their mind, Whis closed his eyes. And while looking visibly upset, Whis says, so it's come to this. And guys, Krillin says, what do you mean? And then Whis explains to everyone that in order to handle the power of an angel, he more made the earth into his own body. And that means that right now earth also shares the same fate as Moro. The way that Moro will end, earth will end as well. Because Moro and the earth are connected together. And right after Whis said all that, Goku was just scared and he was shocked. And he says, what? And Whis says, and beyond that, Moro's swollen energy will detonate and possibly obliterating the entire galaxy. So guys, right now that means if Goku does attack Moro with full power, with full power of Master Ultra Instinct, then Moro will explode and destroy the entire Earth itself and not just that, possibly destroy and obliterate the entire galaxy itself. See, Moro by himself before was already very powerful, extremely powerful. And then he got the power of Angel Miros, which Moro's body could not handle even one bit. He was slowly breaking down piece by piece. And then as we all know, Moro fused with the planet itself. And now Moro is much more dangerous than he was before. He's many times dangerous right now. And that is because now that Moro is fused with Earth, he can handle the power of an angel. He now has all the power of Miros. And without a shadow of a doubt, all of us know how much power an angel has, what an angel knows, and what an angel is capable of. See, when Whis told Goku to end Moro's life, Goku agreed. And that's because Goku understood the danger that Whis was feeling ahead. See guys, when Goku awakened the Master Ultra Instinct against Moro, Whis knew for sure that at that point, Goku was far ahead of Moro and Moro would not be able to touch Goku 
even one bit. But as ever since Moro has taken the angelic powers of Miros, Whis was concerned once again. And since Moro was on the ground struggling, Whis knew that something bad was about to happen. And that is, he knew how dangerous Moro was. Whis knew that a being like Moro would somehow, some way, find a way to get out of this bad situation. And Whis was right. Moro did just that. And Whis is someone that can break down a situation from point A to point Z. And he knows how one good or bad situation can end in many different ways. And in this case, while Moro was struggling on the ground, Whis knew what Moro's next move could possibly be, and it was not gonna be good. And so even with Goku having this level of immense power, Whis still told Goku to end Moro's life right there. And that's because now Goku being a mastered ultra instinct, Whis knows what Goku is able to handle and what he's not able to handle. He knows Goku's limits. And now Moro is one step ahead of those limits. Anyways guys, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are brand new to this channel, be subscribed for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And have a blessed day my friends.